we are going to have some fun with this podcast. This is going to be brilliant. You're going to love it. Not because of me. First part of bra, okay? Elongé. You can use one arm. You can use both arms. I'm going to use one arm because I'm old. And my left shoulder hurts when I move it somewhat. So, you know, one of the benefits of age is that you get to make those choices. Young people, do both arms. Okay, I have got a good podcast for you. You're, you're going to love this. I bet some of you might even tear up a little bit. Okay? I am going to share with you the most perfectly trained ballerina I've ever seen in my life. And so, in history, to the extent of the history that I've been exposed to. Now, the interesting thing is, and how this came to be, the Soviet ballet archives are now opening, like flood, floodgates, oof, right? So, many, so much information and video and film, it's film really, is now becoming available. And you can thank Svetlana for this because um, you, at this point you really have to be a Russian and have that, the skill of um, researching in Russian language and understanding where to look and she knows all that. So she brings this stuff to me. Don't, so she needs to be given credit for that. So let's watch a video together. And um, this is number one, one of the most beautiful pieces of music, the most in the Nutcracker, by the way. I'm not a huge Nutcracker fan, but this, this pas de deux is just gorgeous. So let me give you a little bit of background on this. So this is, um, let's see, sorry. Let me get to the video real quick. So this ballerina, her name is Svetlana Yefrimova. Svetlana Yefrimova, okay? I like, Svetlana is my favorite Russian name. I think you know why. Do you know what Svetlana means? Russian names often have means, first and last names. So Svetlana Svet is light, like the lights pointing at me, or light. So Svetlana is of light. So obviously my favorite Russian female name. Okay, so her name is Svetlana. And it's a really fascinating story that my Svetlana has researched. And so let's watch this and then I'll tell you, give you some really interesting details that are surprising, actually. Okay, so I'm going to turn the volume down so it doesn't disrupt. So let's watch this. Now, number one, her face is enough. Just such a beautiful person and her partner. Now, this is a 10-minute video. Uh, we're not going to go through the whole thing, although Svetlana has posted this on social media. Some of you have watched it. So here we go. Now, they are in silhouette, which I think was just a brilliant artistic choice. So I'm going to tell you all the things that are going right. Let's pause right here. Let's start right here. Okay, pause in arabesque. Now, um, one thing you're going to notice through this is how your focus is so much on Svetlana, the ballerina, and how you kind of don't notice the man that much. This was done on purpose. Okay, so in those days, this is 60 years ago, by the way. 60. Uh, the, the, the man played a secondary role. Of course, we know Nureyev and Barishnikov and, and others, uh, Vasiliev, kind of changed the focus a, a bit. And I don't really have an opinion one way or the other about that. But you notice how she's so well trained uh, and just brilliant that she overshadows him. Now, every step she takes, and this one is now she's in... Uh, she's in uh, a little bit this plie. W look at how small her plie is. Her plie is, is a micro plie, just like the one I teach. Every one of her plies is a micro plie. And look at her back. Look at her back in this. So her little plie and her back. Now you notice the guy's back's a little bit more. His back's pretty good too. Her back. Here we go. Every step, the heel goes down. Now look at that. This is the first plie. Let's back that up. This is the first plie. Notice that you don't notice the preparation. She's coming from point to plie. Remember now, plie releve plie. This is one of the pillars of classical dance that I'm, I'm teaching you. 
Notice how you don't really notice the preparation. She gets all of that power from a little micro plie. Here we go, keep going. Just brilliant. See, notice that. What you're gonna notice when she's in fourth, she didn't move the arms, she didn't move the back, she didn't do any of that. Little micro plie and up, powerful, very powerful. Watch her do a grand pirouette, that's coming up. Legs are straight, beautiful plie. Again, in arabesque, heels down, back up, tight, everything. She is placed as well as a person can be placed. Look at the arms on this lady. Now, why are her arms so brilliant? Because her arms are not moving the arms. Her back is moving the arms. All of her port bra all of her head movement is coming from her back, supported by, remember this, core, butt, legs. So her legs are either totally straight or in a nice micro plie, perfect. And the partnering is, is stunning too. He's a very good partner. Now look at this, her, she has a modern day physique, which is interesting. Now see that when she does, so he dips her, and when she comes up, there's no extra movement. There's no wobble, there's nothing. She just comes right up, little tiny plie, steps right up to point. You don't even notice it. I mean, I do because it's what, I'm, what I do, but développé, dip, right up, right up, beautiful. Little soutenu, soutenu. Again, just beautiful stuff. Look at that grand pirouette and all cone. Double grand pirouette and all cone. And I bet you didn't see the preparation. Think about that, grand pirouette and all cone. Most difficult turn to do on point and it's on day dawn and on day dawn. And you didn't even see the preparation. And what you wanna look at is yes, the preparation, but then the ending. Watch how she ends everything. So you want to watch the transition step, which she's always completely precise, the execution of the initiation of the, of the movement, and then how she ends it. Because the end of one movement is the beginning of the next, and, and I urge you to watch that. Look, okay, okay, Ponche, look at the Ponche. Ponche, perfect, right? Leg is where it is, hers is way higher. Ponche is initiated from the turnout, supported by the core and back and straight legs. Watch, so when you see a penche, what you wanna see is how they initiate it. You keep your back up, there's no dropping. But especially how they come up and notice her leg is just, mm, the leg just stays right there. It's just beautiful to watch. Okay, keep going. Look how she walks. You notice how, okay, this is me being my crazy self. She walks, you notice there's no, there's no up and down. There's just like she's gliding. It's like she's on a, a travelator in the airport, you know? I think that's what they're called. Keep going. Okay, okay, now remember this, this pose, notice how straight everything is from her neck, like the back of her head, all the way to the floor, straight. There's no leaning into the hip. There isn't any dropping of anything that you see professionals do now where they drop everything and fling everything. She, she does just enough, just enough to make it absolutely gorgeous. Watch how straight her legs stay. Uh, watch this movement right here. You see back and forth to arabesque. Notice how neither leg drops. Neither leg drops. Look at the arabesque leg. All that happens is she's doing foite, foite, step, foite, step, foite, step. Perfect execution. Perfect execution. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Arms are just gorgeous, yeah. Now look, uh, yeah, look, at, look, look at her bourree. Look at her bourree. Beret and then into pirouette. So she's beret and you, you really can't even, it, it's not like you see this now. Stomp, 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 down, down, down. Her beret is up, 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 up. And it's so tight because it's coming from 
her turnout from her rear. It's coming from right up, you know what I mean. And so she's able to, she just controls her, her feet, the whole leg, with her turnout. Her turnout's doing the work, not the leg, not the knee. And that's why she keeps it so soft and so small and so fast. Then, then she, I lost my spot, hold on. Then she comes into the pirouette. And this is truly extraordinary. Look at this preparation. Oh, y you okay? So she went from point, bure, all the way through straight legs, all the way into a micro plie, which is all you need, and then powers out these turns. Just brilliant. F few passes. Mm -hmm. And again, note you do not see the preparation. And look how she ends her turns. Now she's going to do something extraordinary here in a bit. Another pirouette, just brilliant. All right, we're back to dark. So they're in silhouette again. She's doing a series of penche, just mm -hmm. You just want to watch how she be initiates a movement and how she ends it to see the genius and how she was taught. Big high lift, lights come on. I mean, when they're in silhouette, they're, they're really statuesque, which is such a difficult thing to accomplish. See how she keeps her back up? Her back puts pressure on his arm so that he can stabilize her, you see? These are, this is duet. I'll teach that at some point too. See how she prepares just absolutely. Mm -hmm. You see how when he lifts her, she's in one piece. Nothing moves that doesn't need to move. He's using his lower back to lift her. Not, not a great idea, but you know, it's okay. fast forward well we can keep it again beautiful preparation for pirouette and ends straight legs ready to go for the next movement you see that arabesque leg she is the best arabesque I've ever seen straight legs back up everything just lovely yeah same thing so the, her upper body has a very different quality than her lower body. It's just difficult to notice if you're not analyzing it. But that's the duality of this thing. Okay, back to silhouette. Okay. Okay, so she's a little bit lost her core. You know, there's little adjustments, but you know, I don't care because of how beautiful she moves. Look at that arabesque. Okay, another lift. So I just can't get over the fact that her, her plies are so small and, and, she, and yet she's so powerful. And I, I will talk about this uh, in a lesson of how that works, where power comes from, because it doesn't come from the plie pushing and all that. More lifts and stuff. There's one thing I want you to see here. I think it's coming up pretty quick. Just perfect, perfect going into the preparations for turns. And he's doing a great job of not getting in the way. Okay, let, we can skip through his bit because I'm not. I mean, he, he's he's stable. So guys in those, he he's very stable. So we can give him that. But I don't want to focus on him. Okay, all right. Here she is for her little variation. How? Look at that. Yeah. Those, those steps, little tiny plies everywhere, right? Look how stable she is when she's doing these movements. Notice how her core and back don't move when she's jumping, neither does her head, neither does when she's, mm-hmm. 
such generous upper body and head because she's stable, you see. Yeah, just great. And what this shows you is that dance can be communicated on film, and this is an important thing I'm going to talk about a little bit. But it has to be extraordinary for it to work on film. I got a little bit, little bit wobbly there, but I don't care because it's just great, the rest of it. That's just a bit of a core thing. Now she's probably dancing on a rigged stage as well, so she's going to have to uh, use her back a little bit differently. So that's probably why, it's a little wobbly, but that's likely the reason she's on a rake stage, almost certainly. Oh, there, right there. Here's these moves. This is so hard to do. Watch how she ends these, these turns. Boom, just solid right here. So do, entrena and boom. That's perfect, let's pause that for a second. So she's in this position after a series of turns. Now this stuff looks simple because she's doing it so well, but this is a very complex set of movements, this combination that ends right here. And you see how she ends, there's no wobble, there's no fall, because she needs that stability to go into the next movement. Fortunately, this older, this choreography, it's, you know, the classics are repetitive a little bit, so you can kind of see things more than once. Yeah, her back is doing all of this work. All of that power is generated by her back and, and core and hips being in one piece. Okay, the guy again, you can watch this if you want, but I'm not gonna comment on him right now. Okay, she's doing a combination of PK, double PK. Just solid in a, in a bit of a U. Beautiful preparation. A little entre lacé. Again, back stays up. Right, okay, watch the heels. Okay, let's, let's run this back. So I want you to watch her, this, so this diagonal. Just, just watch, let's finish on this diagonal. She's gonna, this is what finishes anyway. I want you to watch her right leg before she goes into the turns. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so you can slow this down or pause it, what have you. Watch what happens. Okay, entre la say, entre la say. Here we go. PK, double PK. On day dawn, by the way. Right leg. Watch the right leg now. 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 Okay? What do you see? You see her plant the heel, micro plie sets up for the attitude turn on day dawn. She does a lot of on day dawn turns, which is extraordinary because, you know, we all know what that's about. So, um,. Maybe I'll leave it there. I just wanted to give you an example of an, a ballerina that's doing things really, really precisely and really, really well because my previous analysis have been to point out where mistakes are. And it's, look, it's, it's disappointing that I have to go back 60 years to find an example for you, you know, of, of a really, really fine, uh, just um, close to perfect training 